I'm sure you heard Gemini's for being two-faced, flip-flops, liars, manipulators, and also prone to gossiping. Yes. So let's break that down. Why do Gemini's have this bad reputation? What's up, everyone? It's Rhea, and today I'm going to talk about the dark side of the zodiac sign Gemini. Gemini has a good twin and the evil twin. It is duality, and duality exists in every zodiac sign, so there's a positive manifestation and the negative manifestation, the positive traits and the darker traits. And it's interesting because Gemini, it rules over duality. It rules over the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the yin, the yang. You have the good twin, the evil twin. So we're going to talk about it. Before I do this video, I got to give a trigger warning. I'm not talking about all Geminis. I'm talking about the dark side of the Gemini zodiac sign. The darkness exists in absolutely everyone, but not everyone is operating from it and not everyone has certain tendencies, okay? So before you get in your feelings about it, just log off. You know, if you don't have the spiritual maturity to understand that the darkness exists in every zodiac sign, then you're just not ready for this conversation. So let me just give that trigger warning. I'm sure you heard Gemini's for being two-faced, flip-flops, liars, manipulators, and also prone to gossiping. Yes. So let's break that down. Why do Gemini's have this bad reputation of not being sincere? Why do they have this reputation of being the friend that you can't trust because you never know if they're going to go air out your business? And it's funny that I said air out your business because Gemini is an air sign, a mutable air sign. Air is into Intellect, it's a mind, it's stimulation, it's logic, and mutable energy, it likes to move and it can shape shift into anything. Gemini is a shapeshifter, it can shape shift between the good twin and the evil twin, so you never really know where you're going with them. You really never know who they are. So like I said, Gemini is a mutable air sign. They're also ruled by planet Mercury. Mercury is the mind and communication. And it is an aspect of the crown chakra and the throat chakra. But the thing is, if they are not in alignment, if they are not integrated, if they're not operating from their heart center, they're going to be prone to tapping into the darkness because mutable air, it likes to move around. You cannot put air in a box. You cannot contain air. You cannot hold air in your hands. You cannot mold it. It likes to be free. It likes to move around. It's everywhere. So Geminis are very social. They like to interact, connect, and communicate. They don't care if you're a good person, a bad person. Their curiosity can lead them anywhere. And they're not afraid of the darkness. They're not afraid of getting to know somebody who is a little creepy or dark or, you know, has a weird energy about them. Like, they're not afraid. They want to explore. They want to learn new things. They want to get into your mind, tap into your mind. But the thing is, when you are out there and you have so many friends and you know everyone, that is poor spiritual hygiene because you got to be protective of the people you are around and interacting with because everything is an energy exchange. What's happening is you're absorbing energy constantly and Geminis can lack boundaries, not boundaries in the sense of they don't know how to defend themselves or stick up for themselves. No, they do. They, I was going to swear that they were going to make me cuss then. When I say they don't have boundaries, I mean they don't understand the fine line between let me protect my energy. Let me you know, keep up with my spiritual hygiene. Like they don't have spiritual boundaries because the mutable air energy is curious. It wants to explore and learn absolutely everything, the light and the dark. And that's why Geminis can be very neutral beings. Some of them, like you don't know, are they on the good side or are they on the bad side? You just never know with them. They're kind of in the middle. It's like Mercury. Mercury is not a feminine energy. It's not a masculine energy. It's a neutral energy. So with neutral energy, it can also be very trickster. Like you never know. It can flip flop from one camp to another camp and you never know where you stand with them. It's like they don't belong anywhere. They're just like serving the light and the dark. But you see, that can be a person who is a liability. You can never really trust them. You never know when they're going to go against you. You never know. And that's why they can turn on people very easily is that good twin can be present, but then that evil twin can sneak up and then take control and take the driver's seat. And then you're like, whoa, hang on a minute. We were just cool the other day, last week, a month ago, and now you're just flipping on me? Like, what happened? And, you know, it's almost like they're in a battle with their own inner twins. Like, you never know when that good twin's going to be present or when the evil twin's going to be present. It's like they have an angel on one shoulder and a demon on the other shoulder. And, yeah, it's a constant war. Although, they're not really afraid of that war. Like, they just flow with it. It's part of them. It's who they are. It's mutable energy. They're just shape-shifting and shape-shifting. And the reason why they can be flip-flops, two-faced, liars, manipulators, or be prone to gossiping, like... They love gossiping and that's kind of like an entity who loves talking about other people, other people's misfortune, like they love it. And again, it's like not having boundaries, not knowing what energy am I participating in? What energy am I 
surrounding myself with like they lack that boundary they sometimes enjoy knowing everything and anything and not knowing that hang on a minute this is a low vibrational conversation i need to you know get myself out of this conversation or sometimes they're the ones that start that low vibrational conversation and the reason why they can be two-faced or gossip is because if that throat chakra is not in alignment if they're overusing it if it's overactive if they are not in balance and harmony if they're not attuned to their heart if they don't have spiritual boundaries then what happens is they start to misuse their throat chakra. They're not using it with a purpose. They're not using it wisely and consciously. And therefore, they can be two-faced. And therefore, they can be prone to gossiping. Because when your throat chakra is not vibrating from the highest frequency, what happens? What do you do with that portal? How are you using that portal? You see our tongue? It's a magic wand. And Geminis, they are the wizards of the zodiac. They are the spell casters. And they don't know that they're constantly spell casting. And they have to be mindful of how am I spell casting. I'm going to talk more about that in another video that I'm going to do about Geminis and their psychic gifts and abilities. So make sure you tune in for that. Tap on the notification bell so you don't miss out that episode when I drop it. Damn, I feel like a Gemini. I'm talking so fast like a Gemini. Like <laughs> Sometimes you can't keep up with the Gemini because it's like, what? Hold on. And I gotta be honest, Geminis are more prone to getting entity attachments, especially in the throat chakra and in the tongue. And the reason why is because... If they don't have strong spiritual boundaries, meaning if they are constantly around large groups of people who are always out and socializing and they're not afraid of talking to anyone and mingling and opening their energy to just anyone, what happens? We're exchanging energies all the time. So if you're around somebody who is manipulative, if you're around somebody who has, you know, some negative dark energy and, and they're not a good person if you're around them and you still enjoy being around them and talking to them and communicating what's going to happen you're exchanging energies their entities are going to jump into you and attach onto you the traits and habits they have you're going to absorb them and become a product of them because we become like the five people we hang around with the most and the thing is because gemini is a mutable air mutable energy is flexible it can get along it can move around it can shape shift it can fit and take the shape of its container as well so you're going to become like those people. you got to have strong spiritual boundaries. If you just think about Mercury retrograde, during Mercury retrograde, nothing is clear. It can be a very trickster energy. Nothing is what it seems to be. And that's like Gemini. It's like some of them, the darker ones who are operating from the darker, lower manifestation of that energy, they can be very trickster. They can be like Mercury retrograde. They say one thing and then they do another. Or things don't add up. Things don't make sense. So, the Gemini dark side. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure you like, subscribe. I want to hear from you. And make sure you tap on the notification bell so you don't miss out when I drop brand new episodes.